Thank you for joining me. My name is Dee. Thank you. And I want to talk to you guys about a vision that I had probably two and a half months ago that ties into the um, subject talk topic about how the devil is collecting his dues for the year 2020. And I'll elaborate a little bit more as we get farther along, but I won't take all your time. I don't want to be very long about this, but I want to be clear, concise, and straight to the point about it. And let's start with my vision. I had a vision two months ago, uh, maybe two and a half months ago, um, before the new year, obviously. And I had, it was two parts to this vision, but I give you the uh, second part. The second part of the vision is I was... At, in my old neighborhood, I was um, walking outside and I seen these demonic figures that were floating in the sky. And the way that w they were fl floating as if someone released them, like in the atmosphere. Like, you know how you're holding balloons and they're full of hel helium and you decided to let go and how they just simply float and spread out in the um, atmosphere or you know the skyline that's around you this these demons look like they were doing the same thing or they were mimicking the same motion as if someone were were releasing balloons in the um, atmosphere and I remember looking at this and I was afraid because I never seen so many demonic figures in a, um, a one vicinity at you know all at once i never seen so many and the the way that the demonic figures look they were very different from the demons i have seen before um this is my first time seeing these type of demons uh majority of ones i see they're all different shapes color they got you know messed up teeth i haven't seen so many um these were different because they had like a like a black robe on and the only way i could describe them to you is saying they resemble the grim reaper they didn't look like the Grim Reaper. I think the Grim Reaper was like a skeleton, but he has that black hoodie on. They were not like a skeleton. They just had a messed up face, which um, all demons do. Messed up face. Um, and they had this black hoodie on. And I remember, you know, seeing that, I walked back, back into my, you know, house and I'm looking out the screen door just like in utter disbelief what I was seeing. It scared me. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, um, uh, probably at four. Um, woke up in the middle of the night, and I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, like those were a lot of demons. And I remember the Holy Spirit just speaking to me about the demonic presence that is about to fall upon the earth and how um, that the activity, the demonic activity, is going to increase, especially. You know for the year of 2020 and this is where I want to get to where how Satan is collecting his dues this year because as the demonic activity increase we will see um, increase on everything it's especially murder I want to highlight on murder and and um, deaths which you know you know how can I say this the murder will be it'll be increased on murder and a lot of people will die this year. That's very unfortunately, um, unfortunate, unfortunate. I can't pronounce that word. Unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But the reality about it is that um, it's going to happen. And Satan is collecting his dues. So this is for my warning for people for who are listening. So this is the warning. He's collecting his dues. Meaning. I know we idolize all these celebrities, all these, like, you know, especially these um, musicians who are into in entertainment industries. They're, they're really highlighted. We hear about them every day. Um, do not be shocked or surprised when you see, especially these musicians, because they are going to get it, like, really, really bad, especially these musicians, because they're living in a very satanic industry or they prom promote the satanic agenda through music, but that's a different topic. But I just want to stay focused on how don't be surprised when you see uh, deaths of them, you see many court dates, them caught up being murder charges, them being caught up in very various, various things. Do not be surprised by this. Or do not be surprised when you may see um, deaths, 
not just musician, but through a lot of celebrities because Satan is collecting his dues. And, you know, this is the year 2020 for him to establish, hey, I'm collecting. I let you play. I let you have fun. I lied to you. I promise you the things of the world. Now it's time for me to get me me. This is what he's saying. It's time for me to collect on your soul. So I give you an example. Remember, I know some people are, are watching are probably, you know, older than I. I remember, you know, when I was in my early twenties, I remember we could party, we can do things. Um, you know, we got in a car with strangers. We did all these crazy things. I you know, I know I did. I'm just being transparent. I know I did these things. And we live to tell about the next day. Uh, tell about the story and we look back at it now we're married have kids and i'm like that was so dumb i could have got hurt i could have got you know injured you know something bad could have happened to me and by the grace of god thank you jesus that those things did not happen to us now we're living in a time frame where that person that you leave to hop in their car say hey want to go home with them after the club or whatever um that may be your last time that may because evil is so high that may be your last time for those people who are you know living a life of maybe addiction so you never know that last crack pipe that you smoke maybe that crack pipe that you smoke may be your last one because the devil wants you to get caught in your sin that way when you're caught in your sin you don't have time to repent, repent. he can collect on your soul so he's collecting so that's what I said, be mindful of the lifestyle that you live now because that vision showed me that wickedness and the death and the, the murder spirit is increasing. It's increasing. It's raining down upon us. So, like I say, that may be the last person you go home with. That, that drug or that drink may be your last drink, you know, um, because you're living for him. Meaning you're living a lifestyle that he, he, that Satan is, how can I say, you're living a lifestyle that he approves. He, he, he wants you to live that lifestyle. And as you continue to live that lifestyle, there are consequences. But, you know, like I said, back in the day, the consequences were, uh, you know, maybe they, they took long to come around, but now they're coming around like that. You do one thing, that's it. That's your life. This is what time frame we're living in. Where you can't afford to make mistakes. You can't afford to be living your life on the other side of the fence. You can't be afford to try to serve two masters. You can't afford to be lukewarm. Because we're living in a day and age where he's collecting his dues. And the year for him collecting his dues, 2020 is the year. It's the 2020s year. We haven't seen nothing yet. It's going to increase. It's going to increase. When I was studying the book of Daniel, it says, um, many will be purified, made spotless, and refined, meaning that a lot of people will be saved. And also, in that same verse, it says, but the wicked will continually continue to be wicked, meaning that the wicked will continually to do the things that they feel that they want to do or that they believe is right they will continue to be wicked but the warning is when you continuously be wicked remember that 2020 and i'm sure the years to come but in 2020 i'm prophesizing about 2020 that's what i know about currently right now that in the year of 2020 that he will collect his dues if you continuously to be wicked and live that wicked life <laughs> you know so we're gonna see this we're gonna see this a lot especially with celebrities I just want to keep on highlight with them we will see this a lot with them because especially musicians and I just keep on saying this because we're gonna see it we're gonna see these people rise to fame and we're going to see their demise. Not wishing their demise. I just wish they would get out and just, you know, accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But we're going to see it with our own eyes. 
because he knows his time is running short. So he's trying to win as many souls as possible. So I urge many people to, you know, listen to this message. Um, you know, I'm just here to, to give you thus says the Lord, you know, share the gospel. I'm not here to judge. I know a lot of people think like, oh, you know, most people are in Christ or Christians. We're not here to judge. My job is to speak and, and to tell the truth. Who am I to judge? That's not my job. I'm not a judge. I got to answer to my judge. <laughs> the one and only who sits on the throne. I got to answer to him. So I can't judge you. The only thing I can say, this is what God tells me. And this is what my Bible. I'm looking at the screen because I have my scriptures on the screen. And this is what my Bible, my Bible informs me of about wickedness and the things to come on this earth you know so you know we just got to stay prayed up stay strong remember that you know we're living in some perilous times you gotta get together and i want uh, and i pray that this message touch someone i pray that people just listen to what i'm saying you know is is saying this is because this is god who lives in me want me to share this message with people and just just get out the world the the bible states many verses about living the world just get out easy said than done yeah i understand but with jesus all things are possible so just get out because this is the year 2020 and having that vision of those demonic figures looking like the grim reaper the satan is collecting on his dues make no mistake make no mistake about it but guess what you don't want to be the one that he collects on you don't you do not it is it's over here on this side with god we, we this is a great side to be on this is this is a great team to be on because there's certainty living in the world there's no certainty there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. There's no guarantee in general in life. But I know God's promises. So I'm certain of his promises. I don't want certain of when I'm going to die or I don't know. I don't get into that. What I'm saying is I'm certain to, I'm certain of his promises. What has the the Satan promised you? What what is he what has he told you? What is he saying to you? Because he's not even certain about a lot of things. The only things he's certain about is how he's going to get your soul. So thank you. Hopefully I didn't take up a long time <laughs> talking. Thank you, thank you, and join me next time. You guys stay blessed. You know, stay prayed up. Pray on your family, your friends, your kids. You know, please, please pray. 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 I got to remind myself sometimes I slip up. I wake up in the morning and I don't say nothing to God. Mm -mm. We're living in some harsh times. And it's a very heavy murder spirit. It's, it's on the world, especially in the United States. So pray. God bless. Y'all take care. And talk to you next time.